Welcome back to Blackthorn Prod. I'm Noah. Halloween, that epic, horrific, spooky time of the year is almost upon us. I've been taking part in Inktober, creating tons of spooky ink drawings, but more than that in a future video. Recently, I've been hard at work transforming beloved YouTubers from the game dev community into vicious, devilish, wicked game characters. Everything presented in a stylish card game format. It was a joy to draw, mutate, color, and bring to life these various characters from the vengeful forest druid who is none other than the dark incarnation of Thin Matrix, a developer known for his peaceful, healthy creations and lifestyle, or Saikula, a vampiric, blood-drenched version of Sam who runs the Saiku YouTube channel. I've created and animated plenty characters, but still have lots, lots more to create. So this is part one of my Halloween horror-themed YouTubers. Part two will come up on Halloween day. So light a candle and let's dive right in. First of all, I created a new Photoshop file and began sketching out various character designs. I like having my background a different color from white. It's more relaxing on the eyes, and it makes the canvas feel a little less empty or daunting to tackle. Obviously, I'm a fan of countless great YouTubers, Mark Brown, Danny, Brackies, Jonas Tyroller, New Frames Plus, Jabril's, the list goes on and on, and I intend to turn every single one into a unique card game character. I spent about two hours sketching out lots of ideas. This stage is always rough and loose. I don't care if my lines are messy and scribbly looking, this is simply a visual idea stage. I can always come back later and clean out the outlines, proportions and so on. Obviously, the most important part when making art is to enjoy yourself. Don't be afraid to mess up or have people dislike your work. Fearlessly create and you'll always win. I listen to some music, look at the YouTuber I want to transform for inspiration, if need be, and happily draw and breathe life into characters. The first card I created was Tim Ruswick from Game Dev Underground. Obviously, every YouTuber I mention here is awesome and is definitely worth a check, so all links will be in the description. After the sketching phase usually comes the inking stage. This is when I go over my messy outlines and separate all the body parts on different Photoshop layers, so I can later animate and rig in Unity. Then I color using a vibrant cartoony palette. Tim launched a game called Philophobia, which is about the fear of love, and everything in that game is made up of hearts, which is why I figured I would have a couple spooky hearts dangling from his open chest, and call this card the Heart Collector. Each character will have a unique card frame. The Heart Collector is pretty simple, the little Game Dev Underground logo here, and a few hearts scattered around. Then I animate everything in Unity, and had my first spooky, juicy card in-game. But he was lonely, and dozens of other cards were hungrily waiting to be made. Wizards and fanatics and ghouls and bloodthirsty barbarians. So let me introduce you to the Mad Mixer, which is dedicated to the Mix and Jam YouTube channel. The name Mix and Jam instantly conjures in my mind a crazy little wizard excitedly stirring a cauldron, mixing strange, spooky ingredients. And he cackles while a rat squeals in agony as fur and flesh melt in the steaming liquid. I often use soft round shapes to create subtle lighting and glowing effects, or a soft round brush in Photoshop, which is how I got Andre's eyes to glow the spooky green. Coming up next, we have the AI Fanatic, a love letter to Jabril's and his quirky, funny videos. The toothy, ominous grin on his face and the squishy brain is a little disturbing, but so is AI, in my opinion disturbing and fascinating, and Jabril's current subject twitches on the table in fear, or perhaps excited to see what his new brain will let him do and think. Note that all these cards and characters will be available to download for free on Halloween day via GitHub, and by all means create a game with them when you can, it would bring me a lot of joy. 
Okay, under the calm demeanor in Carl's voice from the YouTube channel Finmetrix lies a haunted, dangerous spirit. The game he created Aquilinox, full of good vibes and a loving atmosphere, will turn dark and scary on Halloween, with bloodthirsty wolves and a vengeful Carl standing in the hills and silently staring at you. Gory, murderous toolkit, or GMTK, is my perhaps far-fetched theory that Mark Brown isn't quite as he seems and may be hiding a grotesque, brain-like monster covered in weapons in his basement. And lights it loose on Halloween, I'm afraid. I think I heard a strangled cry in the background of one of his recent videos. Coincidence? I think not. Something isn't quite right with Mark Brown. Extra credits, overflowing spirits, just a character with an overflowing brain. That channel is just too full of goodness for me, too much juicy information and inspiration. And now we have Sebastian Lag and Christine Stock, sitting peacefully on a giant jack-o'-lantern. Sometimes what they code just looks plain alien to me, so yeah, I'll let you guess what this means. They're calm, but who knows what's locked up in that pumpkin? Perhaps roasting children? Only Sebastian and Christine know, you can ask them. The Demon Ferret. A nod, a handshake, a fiery hug to Couch Ferret Makes Games. I met him on Unity Unite alongside countless other cool YouTubers. But Jarosi, that's his real name, had eyes that glowed in the dark, and his skin every once in a while would turn a deep blood red. I think a demon walks among us. Go on his channel and comment with a silent, loving prayer to appease his disturbed soul. We have Heartbreaker. It's Benjamin from the Heartbeast YouTube channel. He's cuddly and soft, but if you listen closely, you can hear the thousand heartbeats of the creatures and humans he's claimed. And finally, we have Saikula. Just Sam from Saiku turned into a psycho vampire. Don't watch his videos at night. You'll see a ghastly, blood-drenched reflection in the computer screen. Very spooky. And that's it for now. Of course, we are very far from done. The next video will include a dozen more cards, from Danny the Berserker to Brachys and his chained minions, the Blackthorn Brothers and Jonas the Nutcase and plenty, plenty more alongside the download files so you and I can perhaps create a really cool game in this universe. And perhaps Christmas expansion will come after that. This video was sponsored by Jason Wyman. He has an amazing course on game creation alongside other students and even one-on-one -on -one sessions with the master himself. You'll learn how to create games from A to Z using Unity and C Sharp. Give it a check with the link in the description and bring your ideas to life. Lastly, massive thank you to my patrons who support me and my channel financially every month. These people, this sponsorship, help me and my brother upkeep Blackthorn Prod. We're not rolling in cash like you might think, but we're turning this whole Blackthorn Prod universe into a stable, solid, full-time passion. So please, no annoying comments about how we're only about money, we love making games and arts, and that's always the priority. And it's a pleasure to promote companies and courses like the one Jason created, which are awesome and deserve the extra attention. With that said, I am energized, I am excited, so stay tuned and see you on Halloween. Cheers!